In the previous video, we programmed the bisection method. Now, let's figure out how we can program the false position method. So we'll call our function false pause, and we'll input the function a, b, and max, and the stopping error. Our steps are going to be completely identical to the bisection method, since both methods use relative error. The only difference is how xi will be calculated. So once again, we need to set up our first iteration outside of the while loop. Error table will be set equal to 1. A table will be set to A. B table, I'll remember that equal sign, will be set to B. X table will be set to zero as a placeholder. And we need our iterator i and our flag, which will stop the loop. And we'll make our titles with the iteration number a, b, we'll remember xi this time, f of a, f of b, f of xi, and the error. And now we'll move on through our while loop, which keeps going so long that i is less than or equal to the n max and flag is equal to 1. And now here's where things change. We need to calculate xi, which we get from this formula up here. So xi is now going to be equal to a table of i times f of b table of i. minus b table of i times f of a table of i all divided by f of b table of i minus f of a table of i And now the rest of the steps are exactly the same as the bisection method. So now we need to check if f of a table of i times f of b table of i is less than or equal to zero. If so, then check if f of xi times f of a table of i is less than or equal to zero and a is appended into a and b becomes xi And otherwise, check if f of xi times f of the b table of i is less than or equal to zero. In which case, xi is appended into a table and b is appended into b table. Closing all those if statements. And then we replace the zero we assigned with the actual value for x1, then calculate the relative error when i is greater than one. So if i is equal to one, 
x table of i is equal to xi. Otherwise, we want to append xi into x table and then calculate our error table. which will be error table appended with the relative error x table of i minus x table of i minus 1 all divided by x table of i then we need to check the stopping error and change the value of the flag if we reached it so if the absolute value of error table of i is greater than the stopping error, keep flag equal to 1, close these brackets first. Otherwise, change flag to 0. And finally, increase i by 1. The table function puts together all of the vectors the while loop created. So i, a table of i, b table of i, x table of i. Then we have f of a table of i, f of b table of i and f of x table of i. And finally, we have our error table. And i will go from 1 to the length of x table. Then prepend adds our title to the first row of the table. And finally, matrix form displays our table. Shift enter. Now let's test it with the same function from before. So f of x is equal to sine of 5x plus cos of 2x and we want the false pause of that function starting from negative 0.6 going to negative 0.5 with a max number of 100 iterations and a stopping error of 0 0.001 now shift enter, and we got to a slightly different value of xi, but as expected, the false position method converged much faster. In this tutorial, we saw how to program bracketing methods by creating a function that evaluates xi for each iteration using a while loop and then proceeds to create a table with all of the results. We also saw how to create tables using the table, append, and prepend functions. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching and good luck with your labs.